Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm a singer-songwriter. To learn more about me, check out the description link below and you can follow me on my social media accounts, on my GGT account. I definitely do some covers so I would like for you to follow me there and to get some inspiration you can follow me at my Mrs. Penpal both Instagram pages are very fun pages and I would like for you to join my Instagram family as well Mrs. Penpal channel today we are going to be reacting to Angelina Jordan and I am super excited my first reaction for her was for I put a spell on you and so today we're going to be reacting to a very technically difficult song Whitney Houston I have nothing so we are going to see how Angelina interprets the spirit behind this song so let's jump right into it That right there is what you call an entrance. Mind you, when I did a reaction for I Put a Spell on You, she was sampling more of her lower register. So now she's in a higher register and she seems pretty comfortable in that. So being, being um, versatile as a singer is an amazing asset to have. And I already see this quality in Angelina and I just miss Whitney listening to the song. Wow, let's keep watching. I don't really need to look very much further. I don't want to have to go where you don't follow. I don't want to hold it back again. It's passion inside. I can't run from myself. There's no So like I said, this is a very technical song, very easy to mess it up. <laughs> you think this is easy, it's actually not easy doing live vocals and I've been there, you know, I tend to do these kinds of live vocals so I know how difficult this is. So she is she pretty much making a technical song and trying to put like um some sort of like flair like a let's you know like a easy um she basically put in she has an easy going way of doing it um, of doing it that's what i'm trying to say she's doing it in an easy going way but it's a very 
technical song I like her use of um, vocal fry you might not know it notice it if you're not paying attention but when she goes like um, I can't really I would have to rewind it but if you have that tech that you know vocal ears you hear her has subtle use of vocal fry she did it right before I paused but I like her easy going way of approaching this song um, you can notice some stylistic choices like in certain places where she says the words quicker than you know the original so she has made some changes to this song but it's definitely she made it into her own interpretation so that's that's pretty cool you break down my That was good. Better than good, that was great. I really enjoyed this cover. She went beyond and above. And like I said, it's a very technically difficult song. You need to have your, your breath on point to do this. You need to be able to belt very well, great posture and literally she scaled through it i mean it's really difficult song especially if you're modulating i noticed some stylistic choices of her like some places where you could go super high and stay there and she you know immediately just did a like quick decrescendo just to make sure she's still aligned and still in pitch in the right pitch this is a song you can easily go off pitch take note of that it's a song you can easily just go off pitch but she stayed on pitch and she literally just glided through very difficult portions of the song and she added her own flair to it and this is the beauty in covers I really really enjoyed this cover and I got to see her sample her high notes and um, this was beautiful great decision making on the spot and just all around i appreciate 
her doing this song and doing it the way she did even though it's a difficult song to pull through angelina did that if you're not subscribed definitely join this family we are very musically inclined family and we would like to have you as part of the pen pal family i will catch you in my next video bye bye mrs pen pal channel